Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday on a Thursday. It's a Freelichi Thursday instead of a Freelichi Friday. So yeah, I um, decided, I was looking at my calendar and I'm like, okay, I think I overloaded myself on Friday. So tomorrow um, I was trying to do Facebook Live and then I have uh, the Simple Beautiful Card class in the afternoon and then I have to set up for the one day retreat that that is happening on Saturday. And I was like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that all done. Cause I like to make sure to get everything um, posted and uploaded from Facebook Live after I get it done and I knew I was going to be off to the races Friday afternoon with class and getting set up and then the retreat the next day so I'm like okay I'm gonna give myself a break and I'm gonna do Facebook live on Thursday instead of Friday this week so I can get everything posted and uploaded and then still be able to like breathe tomorrow too so hey Mary hey Teresa glad you guys can join us so yeah that's my reasoning this week I feel like there's just been so much going on so many like you know having to kind of move stuff around so as always thank you guys for hanging in there with me and hanging out with me on a Thursday instead of a Friday and if you miss Facebook live today you can always catch it tomorrow <laughs> what a nice surprise yes I know nice surprise to see you too Miss Teresa yeah I had I try to kind of post on our Facebook group um <clears throat> that we, sorry, I got a text and I'm like reading it. I got to swipe it out of the way. Um, I try to post on this Facebook group right here. Hey, Amy Jo, um, if I'm going to do something other than on Friday. And even I like to put a reminder about on Facebook Live on Friday. So watch for that too. If you're ever wondering, hey, Bonnie, yay, happy to have you join us. Um, if you're ever wondering, when is Facebook Live this week? Because it has been a little all over the place lately. It's either Thursday or Friday or not at all. So actually next week, it's not at all because I'm going to be out of town starting on Wednesday. Day. And I was originally, so I'm going down to Memphis and I'm super excited about that. And I thought, maybe I'll do Facebook Live from Memphis. And then I was like, okay, I just don't even have time to prep for it before I leave. And I can't bring, like, I, I was like, okay, it's just going to be easier to not do it because it's too much prep and like schlepping everything down to Memphis and getting it set up. And then the worry of like, is it going to work okay or not? Um, so I might do it someday from Memphis, but not this time. So yeah, we're here live right now. And then next Friday, I'm off. I won't be doing Facebook Live at all next week. I'm trying to think of what are the dates here. So today's the 12th, tomorrow's the 13th. So no Facebook Live on Friday the 20th, but I will be back the following week, um, which is the Friday right after Thanksgiving, which is like nutty to think that that's happening already. Um, so don't wish November away though, because then, you know, life just keeps rolling, right? So. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully everybody's had a good week. We've got sunshine here today in Michigan. It's actually been a better week than I thought it was going to be. I always have to talk about the weather a little bit. Clearly it affects me. I don't know if it affects you like it affects me, but um, it's a lot colder. Earlier this week was still like super balmy and like amazingly like record high temperatures. I think that happened around like all around the country. Um, but now we're back to reality. It's cold, but it's sunny. So we're happy to have the sun, right? So we are featuring our product of the week this week is this whole suite. I couldn't even pick just one product from the suite. So it is the Trimming the Town. Oh, there's our glare, the beautiful sun, the Trimming the Town suite. I even put this as like the um, profile picture on our Facebook group. I just love those little houses. Like look at oh, this darn glare. Um, the little houses, the trees, the whole little scene. I actually am super excited. I was able to make this house. I'm going to share that with you guys today. Uh, it's so cute, so fun. So what else do we have in the Trimming the Town suite? We have... Let me flip this back and see if I can hold it a little bit better. We have the beautiful, well, beautiful, super cute, fun, bright, colorful, the Trimming the Town Designer Series paper. I love, love, love that paper. Then we have the All the Trimmings Embellishments. And where's the ribbon? The ribbon combo pack too. The All the Trimmings ribbon combo pack and the embellishments. So super cute. They're little white dots, red dots, and little yellow stars in small and in large and then just one size of the stars. And then the bundle that I'll show you guys more, the Coming Home stamp set and the Home Together dies. Super duper cute. And then what is that? Oh, actually, that's the other thing I wanted to mention too because I think this is so cool. So Stampin' Up! They're always so good about giving back, um, you know, donating to organizations. And in this case, 
This is, um, it says Stampin' Up! Making a Difference. Uh, whether you purchase the Coming Home stamp set individually or as part of a bundle, or even in the sweet collection. So any one of those, buy the stamp set, buy the stamp set and the dies, or buy the whole sweet bundle, which is everything I just showed you. They're gonna donate $3 to charities devoted to adoption, foster care, and infertility. You can make a difference today. So another fun reason to get um, the Trimming the Town suite, get the whole suite collection, right? What does that mean? You guys know about this too, right? So they put one item code, um, I guess it's right here, the Trimming the Town Suite Collection. It's item code 155105, and you get the designer series paper, the stamp set, the dies, the embellishments, and the ribbon pack, all for, and they give you like the bundle price in there too. So they basically just add everything up, but it's just one item code, so super easy ordering. 7425 gets you all of that stuff. Stamp set, dies, ribbon, paper, embellishments, plus they give $3 to charity too. So awesome, awesome deal, right? So we're gonna have some fun. I actually featured that suite in our retreat, our one day retreat tomorrow and the retreat in a box. And I couldn't have like, I couldn't play with it enough. So then I uh, featured it in our class to go this month too. So you've got lots of different opportunities and ways to be able to play with this fun suite of products this month. So hopefully you have participated or will be participating in one of those things. Um, so hey Deb, how are you? Glad you can join us. Um, okay, let's see. Got to check my notes. I was trying to stay on track. Um, <clears throat> have so much to do over the next like five or six days that I literally had to write out everything that I have to do. And I even put like timelines on it, <laughs> which I, I kind of do that. But like, I was like, okay, I got to really stick to the plan here for the next few days so I can get everything done. Um, so yeah, like I said, we have card class tomorrow afternoon um, from one to three at the stamp studio. Then we're going to go set up we, I see actually gonna be me, and I think Lori, another friend of mine that comes to car class said she would be able to help because my kids are still in quarantine. Um, Lily ended up with COVID, her, well, tested positive. She's had really, really minor, um, uh, symptoms from it, like just tired and sore throat and she lost her sense of taste. So she's bumming about that because <laughs> she loves, you know, we all love food, right? She hasn't been able to taste anything. Her dad tested, tested positive too. Uh, Cade, her brother, tested negative, but they're like, he's probably going to get it. So they've all been quarantining at their dad's house um, since Gosh, I can't even say when. Um, but anyway, so it's been kind of a bummer. They came like over and helped me rake leaves like outside, like staying away from each other. We took the dogs on a walk one day and we've just been kind of trying to see each other, but from a distance. So I'm like completely, totally missing my kids. Um, oh my gosh, I just, yeah, I like it's making me sad just thinking about it. So it's good that I've had a lot to do because I can stay super busy and then not like focus on like missing them. But why was I telling you guys that? Oh, because normally Lily especially comes and helps me set everything up for my one day retreat. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's not gonna be able to do that. Um, I think by Saturday night, um, she might be out of quarantine. I'm trying to remember the dates anyway. So she might be able to help me like pack everything out of there at the end of it all. So that would be handy. Um, so yeah, let's see. Um, why don't we, let's do our first drawing. You want to? So the wonderful gems, this is what we're gonna give away today, right? So we have the beautiful, they're super sparkly. There's red and then kind of clear, but then they have this champagne shimmery, misty look to them also. So the wonderful gems are what we are giving away today. If you shared last week's Facebook Live video or you signed up for my email list. Okay, your name is in here. As many times as you share the video, that's how many times your name is entered in here. And if you're new to me and haven't signed up for my email list, it is my number one most bestest way of communicating with you about everything that we have going on. I love uh, to get my emails set up and get them all scheduled and sent out throughout the month so you guys always know what's going on around here. So sign up for my email list if you haven't done that yet. I'll include a link in the details to this Facebook Live video as I do every single week, so it's super easy. It's also on my blog too at Gathering Inc. with a K gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, so here we go. Drawing for the wonderful gems. Okay, I got a couple. Just get one of them there. Miss Vina, Vina Gomez. All right, congratulations, Vina. I will get the wonderful gems mailed out to you. Hey, Lori, how are you doing? Happy you can join us. 
Okay, so next, well, I guess it's gonna be in two weeks then. So that Friday after Thanksgiving, what did we figure out? Is that the 27th, I think? That'll be our next Facebook Live video. And we will be drawing, if you share the video or sign up for my email list, those are the two ways your name will go into the drawing to win. These are those super cute, the all the trimmings embellishments. So you can see it's Poppy Parade and Whisper White. They're small and then larger ones. Hey Debbie, glad you can be here. And then some um, really pretty stars, kind of, I'm gonna say it maybe, um, um, why am I was gonna say hello, honey? What is that? What's the new? <laughs> what's the new yellow color? Why can't I think of it? Isn't that awful? So it's kind of like crushed curry, but why? I'm totally bumblebee. That's it, bumblebee. Yeah, bumblebee. I think is the color there too. So yeah. So this is what we'll give away um, two weeks from Friday, two weeks from tomorrow on Facebook Live. If you share the video, sign up for my email list. Okay, we will be drawing for those fun little gems. <clears throat> So now, um, what are we gonna do now? Oh, actually, so this is pretty crazy, you guys. I'm telling you, your odds are so good of winning the Facebook Live drawing that I do for ordering through me, because here's the perfect example of that. I only had one online order last week, so I don't even have to do the drawing. I can tell you that Miss Louise Gucciardo is the proud new owner of the Warm Hugs stamp set. Uh, oh, Lori, sorry. I am confused, is class tomorrow then? Yes, Lori, uh, Simple Beautiful Car Class is tomorrow. That's why I'm doing Facebook Live today because I had too much to do tomorrow. So Facebook Live today and Car Class tomorrow. Today is only Thursday if you're not sure what day of the week it is. I know you silly retired ladies can't figure out what day of the week it is a lot of days. Ha ha ha, I can't either, so I shouldn't even say that, right? And I'm certainly not retired. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow, Lori, see you tomorrow at one o'clock at the Stamp Studio, okay? Um, so yeah, back to my, um, like seriously guys, I don't get very many online orders. So your odds are so good of winning the drawing. So Louise, only order, don't even have to draw her name out of the little basket. She is the proud new owner of the Warm Hugs stamp set. We're getting our glare, but look at how cute these little, like I've seen some fun little projects done like with um, the little tree and then you kind of layer and then um, the candy cane. Um, does the heart have? I guess it doesn't. The little coffee cup does though too. Just so cute. Love all of the little sentiments and the details, all the fun goodies in the Warm Hug stamp set. So congratulations, Louise. I will be sending this stamp set out to you. She also gets the awesome projects that I made on last Friday's Facebook Live video too. So, okay. So next Facebook Live, uh, two weeks from tomorrow, we will be drawing, if you put an online order in of at least $30, your name is gonna go in the drawing to win this week. It is the Sweetest Time stamp set. So this is such a cute stamp set, the fun stripey candles, the um, leaves that'll probably what is that gonna be? Why can't, I'm so like confused today. Um, the holly, maybe the holly and the berries, that's what I'm gonna call those. This cute little candy cane and then some fun, oh look, the little peppermint too. I love the little peppermint. Um, ooh, those are for like the candles too. It looks like the little wicks on the candles, right? So we have all is calm, oh boy, all is bright. I have to keep turning this so I can read it because I cannot, can I do that? Wishing you the sweetest season. <laughs> it just takes me a little while. Um, this is harder for you. Oh yeah, for you with Christmas cheer and love and, oh my gosh. <laughs> I would not have guessed that. Love and light to you. So fun little sentiments there also. So it's funny, I'm like, oh, this, this stamp set just kept catching my eye like every time I saw it in the catalog. Um, and so I'm actually gonna be playing with it soon too. Might even be our product of the week soon. Might be on uh, fun projects on Facebook Live. Um, there are dies too that kind of coordinate with this. Um, so yeah, we'll be having some fun soon with this, but you're gonna want this stamp set. So put your online orders in. Just $30 is all you need to order. Use the host code I'll give you in just a little bit. It's on my blog too at gatheringinspiration.com. Um, and then your name goes in the drawing to win the sweetest time stamp set. You also get the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate in just a couple minutes. Hey Pam down in North Carolina, thank you for the share. I appreciate that. If you bump your order up to $50, 
uh, using that online ordering um, process and spend at least $50, right? Using the host codes is what I meant to say. Hey, Susan, welcome, welcome. You get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. Whoa, can we get that in there? We're, I'm definitely gonna have to pull the table. I don't want to do it now because I don't I don't want to get too close to whatever is like back behind me there. But $50 order, you get to choose from either of these little babies also, the tutorial or the blue gems. Oh, can you guys see? There, you kind of get to see. Those are like the lighter blue and then the darker blue too. Beautiful, love those gems. Thank you for sharing too, Susan. I know those embellishments are beautiful, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay, <clears throat> I think, because I knew I was going to take a little bit of time um, actually, I do have a couple more things to um, share with you guys. So we had um, Stampin' Up. Oh, got to go. All right. Bye, Deb. Have a good afternoon. Um, yes, you can catch the replay at any time. It's always right here on our Facebook group. You can always scroll back and um, check it out whenever it's convenient for you. It's also on YouTube. I'll upload it to YouTube. Also, if, you, if that's a preferred way of uh, viewing is on YouTube instead of Facebook. Okay. Um, so yeah, what I was starting to say was we had our Stampin' Up! on stage at home event um, started last Thursday night and was on Friday and on Saturday. So I only got to watch Thursday night so far. Actually, I'm kind of hoping on my drive down to Memphis um, next week that I'm going to be able to kind of watch slash listen as I'm driving. I'm going to have like a little clippy thing so I can kind of be driving and listening. Listening, I'm probably listening more than watching, right, to be safe. Um, but I'm going to be able to catch um, on stage from Friday and Saturday because I know they should Showed a bunch of fun new product from our new um, January to June mini catalog that will be coming out in January. And then Celebration, this the fun um, promotion that we do where when you spend $50, and it's in January and February only now, you get to pick a free Celebration item. So plus I know they did like stamping presentations and had lots of other info and I cannot wait to learn. So there's probably more info out there that I don't even know about yet. Um, I'll be sharing with that with you on our next Facebook Live. But the one thing that I have to say thank you so very, very much for is um, they kind of did the recognition was the one thing that I was able to watch um, last Thursday night. And I actually, so they announced like the top 100 and I, I thought I was maybe, maybe had a chance of making it into it. And so I watched and I didn't quite make it into the top 100, but where was I at? I was at 105, number 105. So I was five people away from making it into the top 100. And that's from like everybody in all over the world. We have like 50,000 demonstrators all over the world. So I, while I was like, oh, you know, I kind of wish I could have gotten into the top 100. I was like, oh, I was so very close. So I have to say thank you to every single customer, every single team member for every single order, just everything that you guys to do do to help support me in my Stampin' Up! business. I truly love what I do and thank you so very, very much for helping me get to number 105 in the world. I was very, very excited about that. That is the highest. I think I was like number 122 last year. So that's how I knew. I was like, okay, maybe I'm getting a little bit closer. Um, but every year you never know too because you only know your numbers. You don't know what everybody else did too. So anyway, so thank you guys so very, very much. So, and hello, Miss Diana, and thank you, Susan. <laughs> You're very sweet. Yeah, yeah, but it's, I couldn't do it without every single one of you, truly, truly, right? So thank you. Thank you, everyone, right? So, okay, um, quick reminder about the Trimming the Town class to go. I'm just gonna flash the cards up real quick. I will include the link. All the details will be there um, to um, the class to go. The Trimming the Town class to go will be in the details to this Facebook Live video right after I get done uploading it, okay? So just a quick flip through. We always make four cards, two of each of them. You have the option to get the stamp set and the dies. In option number one, you also get the ribbon and the embellishments that we use on here. If you already have the stamp set and the dies, just get option number two, then you get the ribbon and the embellishments. You get all the parts and pieces, you get the PDF tutorial. Um, the third option is um, the PDF tutorial, it's $15. Um, or um, if you're a member of my Inkspired Snapers group, you can get the make and take materials for just $12, right? Okay, so here, I'll show you these cards super quick. Um, so, oh gosh, I guess maybe I can't go super duper quick, right? Because we have to like adjust for the glare here. 
to fix my bow on that one. There we go. There's the second one that you could make. The third card. Love that one. I love that big lodge, right? And there's number four. So yeah, if you like those cards, they're just so cute. I just love... <laughs> You're so, oh, Lori, thank you. <laughs> That's funny. I'm like, this is so exciting, the the, um, the 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 cards are. I mean, I think they are too, but <laughs> yeah, very cute. Yeah, I just, there's something about the simplicity of the stamping and, and the dies cut the designer series paper out too. So they're just, these cards are so cute. You guys are gonna love them. You're gonna want to make them too. So go ahead and order that Trimming the Town class to go and then you can make them too. Okay. If you have any questions on that, let me know. All right. Um, I think we are going to flip the camera down. I'm just trying to make sure. Yeah. So, cause the projects I have today are maybe they're not, they're maybe a little bit more involved. So I didn't want to do too much of um, the earlier stuff. I want to have lots of time to be able to focus on the projects that we are going to make. So, all right, here we go. We're going to flip the camera down, fly in through the air. Um, let's see, what do I need? Some grid paper. Let's get that on there too. <clears throat> okay, all right, now I think we're ready. Yeah, okay, all right, turn your heads away. We are gonna flip the camera down and do some stamping today, ladies, and I think I'm actually gonna move the um, table too. Yeah, because we've got a lot going on there. So this is our host code too, the NMDTRRD2. All right, here we go, flying. Well, the no, we're not really flying, okay? <laughs> All right, here we go, hold on. One moment, and I think we won't have quite so much of a glare. I like being in front of the window because I really like that natural light. Um, there we go. Okay, so there's our host code for the month, always on my blog, gatheringinspiration.com. I am gonna scoot it up and out of the way because I want to make sure that you guys can see what we are doing today. And, okay, I know I don't have one thing. All right, <laughs> we're good though. Okay, so I'll grab that in a sec. I was just kind of trying to think. I am I know what I need, I need my trimmer for the next project, but in case I forgot anything else, I'm not gonna go get that right now because then I can go get whatever else I need too. So, okay, so this card, if you guys remember, I showed you I closed this up. I had it flipped right open. So last week I was like, okay, you guys, this is so cute. We have to make this. Because what they did was they layered um, three different stamps. So they've got the lodge and then the kind of the medium sized house and a little small house, I guess I would say. So these three, they use this one, this one, and this one, all three of those layered together. And actually they kind of did it here too. They just did these two. So they did that one and that one layered on there also. I just love that look. There's something that's so cute about layering those and with the different peaks of the roof. So you have three different peaks there. So I was like, okay, we have to make that card. So I did, okay. So this is project number one on Facebook Live today. Look at how cute it is. Oh, hey, Miss Lynn, thank you for joining us. So I used my Stampin' Blends to color in a bunch of this. So I did some of the work ahead of time because I knew you didn't want to sit and watch me color everything in, but I thought I have to show you a little bit. You know what I do need are my glasses though because I want to make sure. Okay, all right, I got those. Those weren't too far away. Okay, because I want to stay in the lines, right, when I color. Okay, all right, so here we go. Here is the cute, the coming home stamp set. So we stamped this one and this one and this one. And then I did stamp um, the trees and the wreath also. And then here are some of the dies. I've already pulled some of them out the ones that I need for other projects that we are gonna make today. But you can see all of the house imagery is die cut. This is for the wreath. There are this these cute little houses too with a little star and there's another one that has a heart inside. Uh, we're using that actually at the Simple Beautiful card class tomorrow. You can make snow with these things. We're gonna do that on this one. And then this one cuts out the tree right here. I think the only thing that is not um, doesn't have a die is the little lamp post and the little smoke coming out and then these little the little snowflake piece right there too but everything else on here you can die cut with the dies too these are called the home together dies so super cute bundle you're going to want this it just makes such cute projects okay so 
let's see what are we gonna do I have all I had all these notes of things to tell you guys about too so I'm trying not to like ignore all of those okay so we'll get some blends let me give you some dimensions on things that's what we'll do first oops and then I just dumped all those pieces out that I need okay that's all right Put those over there okay so we have thick whisper white cardstock for our card base okay let me make sure can you guys see that i think we've got the corner in view right okay so along the 11 inside we cut it at five and a half inches and then along the eight and a half inside we scored it at four and a quarter inches okay so love my nice crisp fold i cannot use my bone folder i see other people flip that whole cardstock in half and whoop, I wish, I don't know, they're just really good at it. I don't know how they do it, to be honest. <laughs> I can't do it. And then designer series paper, the trimming the town. Look at all those cute little houses there too. You could have so much fun with that paper also. Um, and it, I think the kind of fun thing is, it doesn't have to just be for Christmas. Like it, it's just kind of cute like winter houses. They've got the wreaths on them and things, but not all of them either. So you could even kind of fussy cut some of those things out, but look at, it's just so cute, right? So we're gonna put that right on there. So this designer series paper measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then I have a piece of Whisper White that we're gonna use for our snow banks. And I'll tell you how what we're gonna do or how we're gonna do that. This one measures three inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? So let's do, um, you can see it. So these are the pieces I already did. So there's the lodge, the little guy, the tree, big tree, little tree, and the wreath. And I don't even have to color that in because I'm gonna cover it up, right? So I didn't even do any more than I needed to. So I think, so I've got that one, I've got that one, I've got that one. This is the one I need to do because then I've got, that one and that one. Yep. So we're just going to stamp this little baby in our black memento ink. I'm actually going to, let's scoot those back over there for now. Let me put this right here. I want to stamp on my little mat here. Okay. So we're going to ink up with our black memento ink. Okay. I'm trying to make sure this one, normally I would never pound like that with our other ink, but that is more of a linen based um, ink pad, so it's a little bit harder. I'm trying to just make sure, because I think I need to probably add a little more ink to that ink pad is part of my problem. Okay, so now here we go. We are going to start with, so I used, actually I should back up and tell you, I used Old Olive um, and Soft Suede blends there. I used Soft Suede and Poppy Parade and pool party, and then old olive on the wreath and more poppy parade. So those are the colors. So we are just going to do this guy right here. So we're gonna color this piece in with soft suede and then around here in um, poppy parade, okay? So I've got my light and dark uh, blends. We're gonna start with, which one? This one's lighter. <laughs> I put the wrong one back. Okay, so we are going to color in, and this is kind of hard for me because normally my head would be right down here so I'm trying to be careful um, but yeah my camera is kind of in the way of where my head would normally be and the kind of fun thing is on this one you don't even have to color all of it in so I'm trying to be really good to stay in the lines right along here right and then I'm gonna flip it over and color in with the wider Right, and we don't even have to worry about that. Sorry if it's wiggling a little bit. Try not to be too aggressive in my coloring there. Okay, so there's step one with soft suede. Now we're gonna go back with our dark soft suede and I'm gonna, I want this to be a little bit darker. And it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Cause you know, probably it never really is, right? When you get your house painted or it fades kind of over time, right? So we're just gonna kind of color that darker in. And then we're just gonna go back along the black lines and kind of add a little bit of dark along there too. And you see how it really kind of stands out? Oops, I guess I missed that one right now, right? But we are gonna go back through and blend it back in now. So that was our dark. We're gonna pull up our light, the fat tip again. I'm just gonna kind of swirl over all of that and then we'll just kind of blend 
in a little bit. You'll still have some of the shading, but it kind of masks that very dark line that I drew on there. So same idea. Now we're going to use our um, Poppy Parade. I'm going to attempt, and actually we don't even need to color this in over here, so it doesn't even matter if we stay inside the lines there or not. Okay, let's see. So it's a little bit harder with your fat tip, but I've got a little bit more room to work here. So we'll see if I can do this. But I really, my method has been to start with the lighter of the two colors and color everything in and then come back and add some darker shading with the darker marker right and then come back in again with that lighter um, and kind of blend the light and the dark that you created okay so you see how I'm just kind of flipping things around so I have to be a little bit careful inside there I think I need to get a little bit closer you guys might not even be able to see that there right but get a little bit closer and that right there Okay, so there's kind of step one with our light poppy parade. Now I'm gonna go back through, I'm gonna use my skinnier tip. And I'm gonna kind of just add some dark shading, you know, maybe where a shadow might be, where the roof is kind of hanging over the edge and kind of along the edges. And so we're just kind of filling this all in around the edges. I'm gonna go along the windows a little bit. Okay, and the fun thing is, is it really doesn't have to be perfect. And sorry, if you guys are commenting, I'm not even paying any attention right now because I have to stay super focused. I'll try to flip back through in a sec and see if anybody has made any comments, right? So there we go. So you can kind of, can you see how um, pronounced that is, the light and the dark? So now I'm gonna go back through and kind of swirl, blend the light and the dark. And you'll see that, like if you look closely enough on even the pictures in the catalog you kind of see how that's essentially what happened in their, um, their projects too, is they've got that lighter kind of through the middle. So you can just keep working this as much as you like. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we are gonna die cut this and we are also gonna die cut our snow piece. So let me show you. Um, did I want to, I've got my color lifter here in case I wanted to lift any color. You know what? I did kind of go outside of the edges. I don't know if this is really gonna, it does a little bit. We'll kind of try to get some of that. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, there, that's good, huh? Now I kind of cleaned that right up. Okay, so now I'm having some fun. So I've got a little inside my window right there. So let's try to kind of clean that up. Yeah, look at that. That really does kind of lift that color. Like that a lot. Okay, so there. All right, let me grab my stamp and cut and emboss machine. We're gonna scoot this piece out of the way. Let's move that up there too, so I know what's going on. Okay, so we've got this one right here. Okay. <clears throat> And actually, I need my white piece, don't I? Okay, so let's see. We're going to put him there. Is that going to fit? I think this will work. You guys can see what's going on there. Now, where are my dies? Right here. Okay. So we need out of here, we need this die. And we need that one to do our snow. Okay. So I kind of maybe went about like that. I'm worried that's hanging off the edge. I don't want that to happen. Okay. You guys can still see what I've got going on here, right? And then we're gonna put that one on there. And my other plate is right here in front of my face. Okay. All right, so let's cut both of these. Sorry, it might wiggle for a sec here. All right, that wasn't too bad. 
And then, let's see, actually, we'll pull this one up. So there's our little house. So we've got that one. We're all good there, right? Okay. Um, let's put that there. And I need, okay, I've got everything right here in front of my face. I, I was panicking, like, where? Because this is what I want to show you guys now. Get that die off of there. So we are going to emboss. This is going to be the idea. This is going to go like that on our card, okay? So we want to emboss these two pieces like this with our snowflake embossing folder. So we grab the other platform. Okay, so we've got that. So this are the winter, winter snow embossing folder, I guess it is, okay? So we need one plate underneath there. We are going to, oops, that goes this way, doesn't it? Flip this open, and we're going to put these two right inside there. I did figure out that for um, this one, you want to make sure your Stampin' Up! logo is up on the top, and then you get the proper sides embossed instead of debossed. Embossed instead of debossed. Hello, Miss K. How are you today? Thanks for hanging out with me. All right, so let me show you. Whoops. There's like a bunch of stuff on there, too. It's like a mess, ladies there okay so there ah isn't that awesome those snowflakes so that's going to go on the bottom of our card like that right when it started out it was oops it was this piece right here so if you do this just make sure you flip the one over so that they're going the right there <coughs> uh oh bad weather down in north carolina huh feels like a hurricane yikes well i know we've had a lot of those haven't we kay there's been a lot of that going on, I feel like. So hopefully you guys are doing all right. Okay. Um, let's see. We're going to scoop this one out of the way. All right. I think we are ready to put our card together, ladies. I think we have everything. So let's see. We need some dimensionals. I need a quick sip of water. Here's my adhesive. Okay. All right. So we are going to start by, let's add our designer series paper to our card. Okay. Oops. Get that running. You guys see how I did that, right? If it doesn't work when you first pick it up, um, just kind of use your finger to move it along. Okay. There we go. There's that. Then we're going to add some adhesive on the back of our winter snow embossed pieces okay so we'll put this one right there okay and then we'll add some more adhesive oops so again just roll it forward with your finger there we go and then we will add this one along the bottom i love this right like the rolling snow it looks so pretty on a card still not ready for it here in Michigan. Oh, flash flooding and high winds. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Well, be safe, Kay. That's scary stuff. Yuck. I did. It's interesting because um, just on my phone, somehow my weather app keeps like flashing, will flash up every once in a while with updates on things. And they did just, they did just tell me that you are having bad weather in North Carolina. Okay. So actually, as I'm talking, okay, maybe I shouldn't talk too much, right? I want to pop these babies up. I'm going to put that one directly on there, but we are going to pop these things up and our tree. I think I need some mini dimensionals too. We're going to use some minis on that little baby tree and the top of that tree. And that one and on our wreath too. There. Okay. So we're just going to add adhesive on... I kind of call this the lodge. I think this looks like a lodge. Okay, so we're going to put that one. Where do we want? I need to have room for my tree, too. Maybe right about there. Okay, next we are going to pop this one. I just love this, the three peaks. So that's cute, right? But it gets even better when you start adding these things on, too. So we're going to add him right there. Okay, and then the last little piece. I am a day earlier than usual. Yes, Miss Sally, you are right. Have card class tomorrow and the retreat that I have to set up for. So it was, I was panicking. It was too much for me to do all on Friday. So I said, all right, we're doing Facebook Live on Thursday this week. 
Uh, okay, so one tree there, and then we'll put one tree maybe right about there, right? And our little wreath to kind of finish off our our lodge here, right? We're gonna put our wreath right there. And then, okay, a couple more finishing touches here. We have, these are what is left of my All the Trimmings embellishments. And you can see, I actually used my um, blue blends to color these white, so know that too. You've got these white um, embellishments here that you can color with whatever color. There, you can see them a little bit better. Whatever color you want. <laughs> okay, that's too funny. I know people do say that about me. Um, just very tempting, right? I mean, I agree. It happens to me too, ladies. We joke about that, right? Like, oh, I didn't even notice that set in the catalog until you made that card with it, and now I can't stop thinking about it. Yes, that happens to me too. Hello, Miss Anna. How are you today? All right, so we got a couple. My last three stars, I've used all my stars. Oh, oh, and I'd love for you to be able to come for the next time. Hopefully you can come for the next one day or the weekend retreat. Hey, Susie. Okay, so one more last little step here. So can you see we used, it says, greetings of the season. Um, let's see. So um, Sally, I um, do not have you signed up uh -uh, for the retreat. You had said you did not want to, that you weren't able to come after all. So I do not have make and takes or um, a retreat in a box, unfortunately. You could do the class to go though too, the Trimming the Town class to go. Um, there are, will be details um, above this Facebook Live video after I'm done today. Um, so check that out, you could get that too. So, okay, so this is all we did to kind of finish it off. So you can see, um, you actually could cut many of these things out of the designer series paper too. So technically, maybe you didn't even have to have the stamp set, you could, here I'll show you, for example, on this one, this piece of designer series paper right here, you could fussy cut any of these lodges out and pop that on there too, even kind of add, um, you know, like layer this one, this one, and this one. That would be really cute too, wouldn't it? Yeah, so if you don't have the stamp set and dies, I think you could get away with um, like having the designer series paper and still making super cute cards because you can cut the trees out. The dies will cut all of these things out too, which is awesome. Um, so just kind of know that too, all right? So, but what I was kind of starting, what made me think of that too, was you have all these sentiments on this designer series paper. So that's what's kind of fun about this, right? Is you can kind of, in very small print, right? Um, so here, there's that greetings of the season in green. I was trying to find another blue one. We've got a little Merry Christmas. I wonder if that's too, that one's pretty small. Maybe the Be Merry, maybe we'll use that one. Let's do that little blue Be Merry. So I'm just gonna use my paper snips and I'm just gonna cut through here. Okay, that one and that one. And then we're just gonna pop this up. Hello, Miss Sue. Thanks for joining us. There we go. I feel like I didn't cut that very straight, so we're just gonna even that out a little bit there. But so you look at all of the sentiments. You have, Now they're not all in English. I'm thinking they all say the same thing in different languages, right? <laughs> Don't know for sure. Okay, so we're gonna just use, and actually for this one, um, I ended up cutting like skinny little, cause even these little minis might be too big. So can you see, I just cut those teeny tiny little strips right there, and we are gonna use those on this thing right there, okay? All right, so we're peeling those off, and then we have this cutest little card, Be Merry. We'll put that little baby right there, and that's all you need, right? So we have a season greetings of the season on this one and a be merry on that one but look at how cute those are so much fun i love this stamp set and the dies just can't get enough of them oh look my green water bottle is making quite a glare there too isn't it i'll have to have another sip and move it out of the way all right the sun is finding us again okay i'm gonna pull it one more time there we go 
Okay. We'll see if I can get through the last card without having to pull the table over even further. Okay, so there's card number one. Let me show you the next project. One moment, please. I'm going to attempt to, like, wipe off just a little bit here. Okay. Or just, you know, get myself organized a bit. Okay, so, you guys, this next one. Oh, let's see. Um... <laughs> Kay says, why do they do that? Accidentally use a language I didn't know. <laughs> That's funny. So, Kay, I believe um, in some cases they do that because we are in, um, like I, maybe there's Spanish and French and German would be my thought that those are the three languages because Stampin' Up! is in all of those countries. So sometimes they'll do that with our designer series paper um, so that that can kind of accommodate everyone. So um yes and easy for children I would say so yeah I yeah it's got that really kind of basic um simple look doesn't it so okay so this card guys I want to this is what I was realizing I need to go get my trimmer and I'll show you I actually did it on the wrong end some scoring so I'll make sure to not do that that's good I'm seeing that right now but check this card out right so it stands up like this it's I don't even know what what fold you call this um but we are actually making um, four cards with this fold at our Inkspired Stampers team meeting um, on Tuesday next week. So I've been prepping those make and takes also. And as I was doing that, I was like, oh, you know what? We have to make this card on Facebook Live too. So that way everybody will know how to make it also. So this one I used obviously with the coming home bundle, right? So, okay, let me go grab my trimmer real quick. One, this is going to be the reason why you need this Stampin' Trimmer because it's got some awesome features on it that we are going to be using as we make this project, the scoring of it, okay? So I have my notes there. i got to make sure that I know what I'm doing. I have a lot of notes on this one. But oh, okay, yep, I talked about that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. All right, I think we're good. Okay, so we are gonna start with, oops, I don't need that piece right now. This is a piece of thick whisper white cardstock, okay, that measured, so here's our full piece. So all I'm gonna tell you is the very first step is you take your thick whisper white cardstock and along the eight and a half inside, you're gonna cut it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So that's what makes this. So this is four and a quarter by 11. Ooh, something that is just reminding me too, all of the measurements, item codes, colors, everything that you need to know, all details will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com after um, Facebook Live um, later on today. Yes, 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 exactly, Nancy. We're all going to be wearing masks. I think we will sit further apart than we normally do. Normally we get snuggled right up at our team meeting, but I think we will definitely kind of spread out a little bit more um, just because COVID is running rampant around these parts right now. So we need to be extra careful. Okay, so back to the card. Now I have to focus here, ladies, because I don't want to screw anything up. Okay, so first step is to line, let's move that out of the way. We're going to line this up at six and a half inches. This is my cutter, this is my score, so we are gonna score along the six and a half inch side. Okay, so that's step one. Now, you're actually gonna pull this out, and this was what I accidentally did wrong. The last time I started, can you guys see the little score marks? I was doing it on the short end. You have to do it on the long end, on the six and a half inch end. So, we are going to flip this around, so now we're on the long six and a half inch end and you're gonna feed your paper in. This is why you have to have this Stampin' Trimmer right here, because we've got a one inch mark right along here. So we're gonna feed our paper in. We're gonna line it up along the one inch mark right there. Now we're gonna score, we only wanna score one inch in here and in here. So this is four and a quarter. So I'm gonna take my scoring tool and I'm gonna score up to the three and one quarter mark. So three and one quarter, four and one quarter, there's one inch. I'm gonna take my little scoring tool up here to the one inch mark. I'm gonna press down and I'm gonna score from one inch back to zero, okay? Now, hi Dawn, how are you? I'm glad you can be here with us. Now, because I don't have, I wanna score like that again at two inches, 
So you have to flip it back around again and line up this time at two inches. There's something about doing it over on this side at one inch that's easier. I think it's because the one inch is like right in that little groove. So it's, it's better to do it on one inch here and then two inch over here, okay? So same idea though, we're, we're at four and a quarter. So we're gonna take our little scoring tool and we're gonna score up to three and one quarter, okay? Push that up to one inch, press down, and we're gonna go one inch back to the edge at zero, okay? So there are our score marks, if you can see those, right? Next step, let me check my notes, is, I made so many of these and now I'm like, wait a minute, I'm like blanking out on what I need to do. But okay, we are gonna go, here we go. We're gonna line this back up again along the one inch mark and we're gonna cut. Okay, so we've got it lined up at one inch. Now we're gonna grab our cutting blade. We're gonna cut from one inch up to six and a half. So I'm gonna kind of lift that up. I'm gonna break, take that down to one inch along my little guard right here is telling me. And I'm gonna cut from there. And then I think it's easiest to lift this up, flip this over, feed this back in. And again, we wanna line it up at one inch along here. Okay. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take, oops, oh shoot, I kinda of popped that out. These are, there, good. I sometimes have trouble. Eh, let's do that. Now I gotta make sure I'm lined up again. Okay, so we're back at one inch along the edge right here. We're gonna take our cutting blade. Okay, we're gonna go from one inch and cut up to that six and a half inch score mark, okay? Last step, we need to have a little one inch score mark right here. So if this is six and a half, I'm actually gonna line my paper along here. Actually, let's flip it back over so our score marks are all going the same way. I'm gonna line this up at five and a half inches. Move my cutting blade out of the way and we're gonna score just inside here, just inside where we cut we're gonna score right there. So we're gonna take this at three and one quarter, and we're gonna score up to the one. So we're just going right inside there like that, okay? So it sounds like a lot, but once you do a few of these, it's really not that difficult, okay? So let me show you the results of all of that cutting and scoring, okay? So just watch this video over and over again, and you will be able to make them too. So there's the kind of the top of our card. And then this one, you're gonna fold, let me get this so I make sure I do it. Yep, we're gonna fold this one up this way and that one back that way, okay? Fold that one up there and that one up there. And then this one pops up also. So the idea is these things fold in and that folds down. There, can you guys see that? So that's essentially what your card looks like, okay? And then it's gonna stand up. Uh, why is that not right? I think I flipped these the wrong way. <laughs> well, it's a good thing they can score. I knew something felt kind of funny when I was folding that. There we go. That's how it's gonna go. There, so it's a little step going that way. So if you fold it the wrong way, you just fold it back, okay? There, so that's the idea, right? Can you see, oops, that one's kind of scooting around. Okay, all right, so now I'm gonna tell you about sizes because we need designer series paper on these two strips and this thing right here, okay? So here are my pieces. We have, and I've got all these other little things too. So these two pieces of designer series paper are gonna go right there and there, and these both measure 7 eighths of an inch by four and three eighths of an inch. Is that, oh, there we go. Now you guys can see that better. Seven eighths by four and three eighths. And again, these measurements will all be on my blog. This piece of designer series paper measures two and one eighth by four and three eighths. And that's gonna go right inside there, okay? We also have a little strip of designer series paper that's gonna go right along there. And then this one measures three eighths by four and one quarter. And then we have this strip of Whisper White that measures three quarters by four inches, okay? Now everything else, <clears throat> I'm looking at like, why do I even have this? <laughs> Isn't that funny? Oh, I know why. This piece is for our Whisper, our Whisper White, that little rect rectangle right there. Then here is my designer series paper. And this is, I showed you guys this paper earlier. So can you see, I am actually, this was from right up here, right? I am going to use my dies 
like I did from this piece down here. I cut out this house and those two trees. Now this time I'm going to cut out this house and those two trees right for my designer series paper with my dies. So how cool is that? Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll cut these things because all of this just needs to get adhered on. And then this one too. Okay. So let me grab and cut an emboss machine. Okay. We're going to lay those on there. And then I need this strip also. Okay. So I have my rectangle stitched dies. And you can see from the kind of more narrow, this is the second largest of the more narrow dies. Okay, so that's going to go right on there. And then I need my home dies. Oh, good thing I didn't go set up for card class already because I need, I was using the tree dies. <laughs> at class too. Okay, so those are in a tub. I'm going to go grab those. Oh, they're not out in the car yet, I hope. <laughs> I don't think so. Hold on one sec. So that fits right on there, and I'm going to go grab the other two tree dies. I'll be back in one sec, ladies. It was the first tub I looked in. That was nice. Thank you, thank you for that. Okay, so these are gonna be winging around a little bit. Okay, let's get these. Move my paper so they stay where I want them. Cannot fight the magnetic field. We talk about that all the time at class. Just move your paper. All right, and then that one's good there. Okay, so. All right, hi, Judy. How are you on this beautiful day in Michigan? We don't get to say that too often in November, except this year, we definitely have, right? Okay, Okay. so this one, here's my stitched rectangle. That's just what we're gonna kinda use to put everything on, right? And then how fun is this? Look at that, those things just cut right out of our designer series paper. Isn't that so fun? So quick and easy, okay. Need that so now I think we can let's do our stamping on that little strip we are going to use some soft suede ink and we have a sentiment from the poinsettia petals stamp set called warm wishes from our home to yours I just thought with those little houses on there that was the perfect sentiment right warm wishes from our home to yours Okay, there we go. Ooh, I love that font too. Isn't that so pretty? Ooh, if only you could write like that. If only, I don't know why I always think that. I think because my handwriting is really bad these days. I think my hand, my hand is moving slower than my brain, I think is what happens these days. So <laughs> it's not, it's not pretty. Um, okay, can you guys see? I'm trying to make sure I'm in there even. I know a lot of people flip it up. I just hope for the best. <laughs> they flip it up and look at the back because you should really be able to get this lined up, right? Although something feels funny here. I think it's a little bit wider than three quarters of an inch, so it's not fitting in there quite as well. But all right, that, that worked out. <laughs> oh yeah, we can send our snow down to Eastern North Carolina, you think, Kay? If only we could do that, oh my gosh. Okay, while I have this out, I'm just gonna put a couple of, of dimensionals behind our sentiment right there, okay? All right, and we will put some more dimensionals behind these little guys here too. Love the stripey paper also, isn't that cute? The back of that designer series paper. Okay, we're gonna put a couple of dimensionals behind our tree. So isn't this so fun? Can't you see you could make like a whole little town with this designer series paper and these dies. You could have so much fun. It's kind of like, I don't know, paper dolls, paper houses or something, right? Okay, so we'll pull our card back into view so that I don't screw up what I'm doing here. Okay, so let's add some designer series paper. Okay, let's put some adhesive on these pieces. Where did the adhesive go? They're buried. Okay, so I'm coming in here, put some adhesive on these things. Okay. All right, let's see, let's move those 
trying to like move things out of the way, but let's do, we're gonna lay, can you guys see, I've moved this, <laughs> this thing around so much. Okay, and you can see I overscored a little bit, but I'm gonna cover it up, you won't even know that I did that. Maybe you can't even really see that. Oops, that's a little bit crooked, so let's hope that didn't stick down. Okay, I don't know why I keep making that crooked. I guess my head is crooked, is that possible? There, okay, we got that one. And, oh yes, that's a cute idea, okay. I love that idea. <laughs> yeah, of course you'd have to cut it all out first. Of course you would. Yes, otherwise, well, all those kids would have an awful lot of fun die cutting. I do know when my kids were little, they don't love the die cutting quite as much as they did when they were little. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we got that. We are gonna just add some adhesive behind our rectangle. And let's see, what if I just do, let's so we get it lined up properly, right? Put that one maybe right about there, okay? Then we will add our little house. Put him, you have to tell me if you like, which one you like better too, right? The blue or the red house. We'll have to do a little survey on that. Okay, we'll put our tree right about there. And then our little baby tree right next to our house. Okay. You kind of can't see, but I love the detail even on, can you see it's almost like there's like snow or ice or something in kind of the edges of the windows on there too. Just that extra little detail, so cute. Right, okay, so I'm gonna grab my little silicone mat here because I wanna add some adhesive to this strip and I don't wanna get it all over my uh, grid paper. So we use that little baby, has just a little work surface. We're gonna lay this down here I'm almost wondering if it isn't a little bit long. It is a titch too long. So we're gonna grab our snips and just snip that off. I was kind of wondering when I was putting that on. Oops, I think we have to go from this way. There we go. Get those out of the way. And then where's my sentiment? Warm wishes from our home to yours. All right, so we've got that. We're gonna lay this little baby, I'm trying to make sure it's even, but my finger is in the way. I think that looks pretty good. Then last step, where are my little dots? Here we go. We're gonna use a couple more of our, all the trimmings embellishments. Okay, oh, I've got like a couple sheets on here. I think that's what's happening. Okay, we'll put one right there and one right there. There we go. All right, so what do you guys think? Isn't that cute? <laughs> you love the card. Thank you, Kay. And Susie's saying thumbs up to both houses. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I think they're both cute, aren't they? So this is how it's gonna stand up like that, right? And then you still have a good amount of space to write your sentiment in, and it still folds up. So what is the folded size? Yeah, it still folds up to five and a half by four and a quarter. So that's still a standard card size. It'll fit right in a regular envelope. But look at how cute those are. Aren't those fun? So ladies, don't forget, okay, if you put in an online order of at least, here, we'll use this one, $30, okay, make sure you use this host code, the NMDTRRD2. You are going to get both of these projects sent to you, right, as a thank you for your order. You also get your name in the drawing to win the super cute, the sweetest time stamp set. Got lots of fun ideas planned with this stamp set too, right? If you bump your order up to $50, you also get to pick from either the blue gems, the beautiful blue gems. You could have some fun with those on these projects too, or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. Either one of these, yours free with a $50 order. So, so much good stuff. I would truly appreciate any online orders. Every single online order I do appreciate so very, very much. It helps me keep going with the Facebook Lives, which I love to do. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope I didn't mix things up too much this week, doing it on Thursday instead of Friday. Um, 
off to work I go now and then we've got card class tomorrow and the retreat on Saturday so lots going on over the next few days I hope you guys have a great weekend and we will actually see you back here two weeks from tomorrow the Friday right after Thanksgiving for our next Facebook live on Friday November 27th so have a good weekend a good week next week and I'll see you guys right after Thanksgiving hope you have a great Thanksgiving too with family and friends thanks everybody bye